Hi Sagittarius, here's a general look at your solar chart for October 2010. Now I think getting on with others and good people skills, good communication skills are going to be a key feature of this period. Networking, mingling with a group of like-minded people. Um, that's in person or over the wires of course, but staying a little bit in the background, um, keeping an eye on things, pulling strings from behind the scenes. You may be even doing a disappearing act at times so that you can concentrate on yourself more, um, get into it, your own little bu bubble or work on a private project. Uh, just choosing, you know, making sure that you now are choosing more self-nurturing health improving activities between making yourself available for others. So kind of a fine line with one eye looking out and the other eye looking in. <laughs> um, so even though you'll be uh, probably corresponding or chatting with friends or uh, for business reasons, uh, for more professional type reasons, uh, and making some interesting new connections, um, interesting new influences coming in there along the way, you'll often be more uh, reflective or maybe you're just going to have to learn when to say no um, to an invitation. Um, you know, look after, be ferocious, ferociously protective of your private space or your boundaries and because um, it'll be wise for you to withdraw and recharge your batteries. Meditate, go in for some therapeutic practice like yoga uh, or anything else that it really nurtures you uh, and feeds your organism, uh, whether that is, you know, the physical or emotional or mental, you know, just across the board really. Uh, uh, because uh, there could be demands on you, you know, and others may appreciate may not appreciate uh, just how much you are having to put yourself out, or how m much space you have to make for them, and um, so that you can sort of underpin the situation. Because, as I say, there will be perhaps something which is on a bigger. Uh, level that you want to be getting on with. Um, now the first two or three days you may feel a little pressured by others demands uh, on your time or energy. Uh, you, you, you know your vitality may be a bit low there so just kind of tr try and cut things right down um, and from 7th to 9th there may be more mental pressure on you so keep things as straightforward as you can and uh, leave anything major, any major decision until later. Now in many ways this is a very progressive time for you at the moment uh, over this first three weeks and you're getting a taste of the kind of free the freedom that you've been after or maybe getting the feeling that you're moving nearer your uh, long-term goals um, your mind's going to be very stimulated, I think, by others who are going to trigger new lines of thought at times, uh, and also going to be bringing new connections your way. Uh, but at this time, your guidance is going to be very, very strong, and you'll be more in touch with your inner, wiser, or higher self. Uh, and, but as I say, you, you just have to be firmer about your boundaries. Also, you may be more concerned about somebody else's welfare at the moment and doing stuff with them in a kind of, you know, out of sight of the rest of the world in a sort of private or cloistered kind of environment. Or maybe you're not concerned about their welfare. Maybe it's a love relationship. And again, that's where your quality time is together, you see. And so maybe that's why you've just got to take care of those boundaries, you know, and just manage your time a little bit better. Now, for two plus years, Saturn is going to be throwing down the gauntlet. Um, yeah, not too dramatic, uh, but uh, you'll already be getting the feeling that your 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 loyalties are shifting a little bit with within those affiliations. Um, that you've been, um, 
used to you know you've been used to moving and mingling with a certain sort of group of people in a certain kind of way playing a certain sort of role but actually um, maybe some of those uh, you feel that they've outlived their relevance to you and steering you in the wrong direction or the other way this translates is that you now want to update, upgrade, change the role you're playing within those affiliations, you see. Already um, you could be just, you know, stepping back a bit and feeling a bit disenchanted with um, certain others that you've hung out with in the past, um, shifting your priorities there, but also, again, the other way around it can work is feeling disenchanted with the way you've been performing within that um, circle, that group, um, and um, thinking more seriously about group work, in fact, uh, maybe to wanting to develop something there, build something up there within a core group of people, uh, some circle of people, uh, in some peculiar way uh, becoming more um, dispassionate, um, not so sort of emotionally plugged in there, but looking at it on the bigger scheme of things and saying, okay, you know, what needs to be done here? And um, setting up uh, a network or set of connections that are more in line with that more expanded view about some sort of bigger cause. Uh, the ultimate out outcome of this very long transit of Saturn through this area of your chart is that you probably will be seen in a different way by uh, a group of people, organization, or circle. Um, and uh, you'll have built up useful contacts. You'll have really worked perseveringly at developing these connections um, over this transit, this two plus year transit, and that's going to underpin the direction that you'd like your life now to go in. Um, you always need a goal, Sagittarius, you always need a target, and this is the area where you're going to have to work hardest to get the progress you'd like to get, to put together some sort of um, a new way of your being able to achieve your hopes and dreams um, and even as I say on this level which is not just about you in your personal life which is about something bigger than you externally you're like likely to be able to um, expand your base of operations actually because Jupiter is sitting at the root of your chart Jupiter your ruling planet and uh, you know, on a very personal level, you're likely to be enjoying the home base more, um, <clears throat> and um, even if that means you know relocating, possibly. Also, Jupiter is connected to travel and foreign lands, so you could find yourself flitting back and forth, maybe, uh, or uh, you know, being able to be in a more um, in, 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 a, in a social environment that, that you prefer and as it is connected to foreign lands it could even be a foreign environment uh, Jupiter as well is a teacher planet and that indicates you'll be learning a lot from the environments that you find yourself in and maybe there's some coming and going maybe there's some chopping and changing on the one hand there could be an extension of your space or more people in your space um, or you're using your space in a way which allows for more uh, potential to grow in that space or you could be um, you know it could be about a real estate property you could be coming out of one place and going into another and that this would be a very good time for you to be doing that but also there's the um, element of surprise here as well because Uranus is also in the same area until next spring along with Jupiter um, and this gives all of that an edge and a kind of a buzz and a kind of an excitement so there could be um, some uh, sudden changes in arrangements or you'll suddenly have to sort of pick up and take yourself off somewhere it could be working like that also, it could be working in another way where from home 
you you are um, using Uranian equipment, which is to say what I'm using here now, um, uh, to uh, connect with you know the wider world, or you could be doing something which is uh, you as a cog in the wheel of something really, really a lot bigger than you, and you could be doing that from home as well. So your communication skills are again going to be needed there. Um, now, Venus um, is in this very private background area of your chart, making your emotions a bit more sensitive, making you a bit nostalgic harking back to the past. And in fact, with Uranus where it is, there could be some sort of definitive break with um, you know a whole section of, of your past um, to do with family uh, uh, to do with your roots you know and um, Venus is going to uh, allow you to um, heal that in some way um, uh, Venus in this very background area of your chart is great for spirituality uh, meditation um, and any sort of uh, nurturing activities which could be directed towards somebody that you care for uh, but also directed towards yourself and uh, working also more with visualization and imagination this is very much uh, a potential a Venus in this area here and being able to um, manifest actually uh, something because of the power of your intention and your visualization skills. Mars is in a low key area um, for you just this month up until the 28th so during this period everything I've been saying about self nurturing and so on uh, you, you shouldn't try to be all singing and all dancing for others at this time uh, Sagittarius you should be winding down and recharging as your energy will be a little bit lower um, until the 28th uh, but you are going to have to make yourself available uh, for these others of course um, the world doesn't go away so um, yeah just m pace yourself just manage your time a little bit better but just go in for something that you like to do which gives you a feeling of space and expansion and um, a sort of like contentment inside now from the 24th you can make good progress um, if you are kind to yourself uh, and say no when necessary so more of the same really that's it for October if you know your rising sign listen to that too it'll throw another light on what I've said here and I'll see you the next time